Kingdom Hearts 3 is a bad game. Why is why is everything getting darker? What? What? Oh, it's just you. I will not allow you to diss such a masterpiece of design. The complexity of this game is- Kingdom Hearts is a masterpiece. Yeah, right, it's a masterpiece. Mickey Mouse is committing mass genocide during the game. Like, why though? Why would you call it a masterpiece? The story of Kingdom Hearts 3 is A, the meat of the game, and B, all over the place. Please know that there won't be any spoilers due to it being the content of the game. Now if you are wondering if you've needed to play the previous two games to understand any of this, then you're partially right. You also need to have played Kingdom Hearts 0.2, Kingdom Hearts 360 something over 5, 1, 2, Dream Drop Distance, which I need to add was a 3DS exclusive for a while and Kingdom Hearts 2.9 Final Chapter Prologue. Final Chapter Prologue. Quickly condensing what you need to know from about 20 games or so, you kill the big bad guys soul and body separately, and they both got resurrected. So it's round three. I know, you're still confused. So to replicate the game, might as well segue into the first 10 hours. Don't worry, it just sets up the plot. So, Sora comes back from the dead, again. Yedsin says that he needs to recover. Power of waking. Oh. And so Sora goes and does that, while simultaneously trying to bring back Roxas from the dead. During all this, Mickey Mouse, yes it gets that stupid, and Riku must bring back Aqua from the Realm of Darkness. Also did I forget to mention that Donald Duck and Goofy are in this game. Ignoring the fact that this is a terrible game to start the series with, we come into the first problem. Demographics. Unlike how some Kingdom Hearts plot summaries word it, this is a children's game. Period. End of story. N no, that that's not what I meant. No, that's not what I meant by end of story. Cut wrong company. This puts the developers into a dilemma. Lots of people were waiting for a treacle a decade and a half ago and have matured since their childish days. What people consider good changes through age. A five-year-old is more likely to enjoy an episode of Power Rangers than a person in their 20s. The dilemma presents itself as thus. Do we cater to the old fans, or do we attract new ones? The former was chosen. In catering to this demographic, they had finished a cliffhanger that people stopped caring about. Back to the Power Rangers example, if you were five and wanted to see how the final episode of the series ended, but then that final episode came out a decade and a half later, you would first be excited to finally end that cliffhanger, only to be thinking throughout that, hey, this was very stupid, why did I even like this? If you have your player thinking throughout that this was a waste of time, they won't be encouraged to play it. Either intentionally or unintentionally, this was counteracted to a degree with the endless tie-ins and prequels that were released and marketed to the children in order to keep their core demographic intact. This is a bit of a tangent, but who came up with the idea of combining Final Fantasy characters with Disney characters? The only way this makes sense is in a boardroom. Somebody wanted to attract a huge amount of demographics. Okay, tangent over. This core demographic does not have any attachment to the first introduced characters back around two decades ago. So even with children, they don't know who anyone is and will not understand or care. Delivery of the story is extremely inconsistent. Barely any exposition is given, but when it does, it goes on and on and on. For example, 
You remember that power of wanking mentioned earlier? Do you know what it does? It brings back people from the abyss via their hearts. How did I find that out? Wikipedia. Using a phone? That takes a long cutscene to explain. And then some more cutscenes. Voice acting is even more inconsistent, and especially with delivery. The general rule, though, is this. If it's from Disney, it's usually delivered well. <laughs> Alright, I know I dotted my I's, crossed my T's, zeroed the hero. So what gives? Who could possibly be trying to give me a migraine by yodeling that Yutz's name? And if it's a Kingdom Hearts original... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Good. Then I guess she's gonna be alright. Please note though, this game is translated from Japanese, so some lip desyncing is at least understandable. But the delivery! Sora's delivery has always been bad, but you would have thought they would have at least learned. J just listen if you can. Really? Hades? <sighs> it's just us? Even for you, that's cold. <sighs> <sighs> See? Found him. Yeah, I guess this counts. The gameplay is stupidly easy. Even setting it to the hardest difficulty is still a breeze. Maybe it's because I relaxed in Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. Who knows? Now, sometimes easy gameplay isn't always a bad thing. If your game is more of a narrative experience, lackluster gameplay is at least understandable. That also is an all-eggs-in-one-basket design. And since the story is comically terrible, the gameplay is as well. The main mechanics of the game is simply beating things up with an oversized key. Fine on paper, but its execution was terrible. Throughout the entire game, it gives you way too many panic abilities, making me question that Sora lost any power. Yeah, that's also stated. Explicitly. The character you play as is not as powerful as he used to be. I see. You could not regain your strength. Are you sure about that, considering that this kid can uppercut with a boat every 30 seconds? You have dynamics with any follower of yours, and you can equip them with gear or change their behavior in order to fill a role you require. However, you will never need to utilize these features due to being absolutely broken. Also, Sora can go dark. Why? I knew he could do this in Kingdom Hearts 2, but why? It's a stupidly easy oof button. Phone games. NEXT! <laughs> no, th this can't be it. This can't be it. This can't be it. There has to be more. Has to be. Uh... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the soundtrack. The soundtrack is really good. What else, what else, what else, what else? Um, nope. I got nothing more. I'll finish this up. In conclusion, this game has a hard on for children. You thought you weren't getting a pun. <laughs> Bye!